Okay. All right, I think we're recording. All right, introduce yourselves. I am Tom Elaine. I play the lead guitar. I'm Trevor Anderson. I play the lead keyboards. I'm Eric Nesseth. I play lead drums. I'm Kurt Anderson. I play the double lead bass. What? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Fuck what? you guys. We didn't discuss this. <laughs> so tell me about how you guys all got started. What is Circle of Heat? A crockpot. Yes. We That's literally <laughs> took our name from a crockpot. Yep. Did you really? Yeah. Yep. Like the we were all the settings the for heat for was called the circle of heat. Our, our so very if, you, first if you actually type in circle of heat in the Google image, you'll get a bunch of crockpots to come up. So our very very first rehearsal we ever had, uh, we jammed for about 45 minutes or so just on one little progression. And uh, after that, we finished. We're like, all right, we're a band now. So what do we call ourselves? <laughs> we all had like a couple of preconceived notions for names, but didn't really have anything specific in mind, so we were just kind of looking around the room like, oh, maybe we'll see something, get an idea. And sure enough, uh, perched atop, just some, you know, I don't know, some... Crockpot. Pr yeah, just there's a crockpot up on top of a dresser, and we saw it, and the heat settings were the circle of heat, and so we're like, oh my god, perfect, <laughs> band name found. So yeah. that was that. And, we uh, started at the School of Music in Minneapolis, we all went to the U of M. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I we played viola. Yeah. It was a viola performance You're all major. Music I major. Classical right? yeah. voice and choir. And I played trumpet. Uh, probably about the furthest from the bass you can get. Yeah. yeah. So how did you find the instruments that you're playing now? Well, I actually got stuck on. Well, I don't want to say stuck on bass, but found the bass because Trevor knew I played guitar too for years like, and years longer before and he was just like hey you play guitar right you ever played bass and I was like right, two of those strings and get like, join our bass. Well, it's the same thing right why not give it a shot and I did not know it was not nearly the same thing at all so it was a, quite a shock changing to the bass but it was a good experience. I love it now. Yeah, quite it's well. Really fun. Tom's always played guitar. He was born playing the okay. guitar. That's not true at all. <laughs> I've played guitar since for like, I don't know, maybe like uh, 10, 10 years or 12 years probably now. Uh, started out on Metallica, <laughs> rocking out, but now. All right. Yeah. So what would you guys classify your music as? S Slurpy rock? <laughs> no, we, it's, it's rock we found it. Yeah. Well, you guys start, so you say it's rock, it's rock music. Because if you say you're a jam band, a lot of people kind of write you off. They're like, oh, so they get stoned and then they just kind of noodle around, you know. So we put a little bit more effort into it than that. Yeah, think, definitely. So. It's more composed than than your traditional jam band. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's more like progressive rock, I guess, would be okay. kind of the. It's kind of the jazz fusion in there. Yeah, we so listen to like a lot of fusion Humphreys fusion. McGee, like that's a big okay. inspiration. And like, uh, Yes, we've been compared to Yes a couple times. Yes. From the 70s. A lot of Frank Zappa too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just taking, we were all raised by classic rock dads, you know, like all the brothers. There you go. Yeah, and we just kind of threw our own influences in there. And I don't think we I don't think we have our, our genre yet. We're still writing new music that sounds completely different. Yeah, yeah just kind of take it song by like song. A style yeah. uh, track, you know, just because why not, you know? <laughs> Doing some acapella stuff just because we got to get better at singing. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. And you guys just released your first album. Yes. Yeah, that was so awesome. We, we released it in, uh, at Bunkers in Minneapolis uh, to a great crowd. We had Nathan Miller and Unstoppable Company open the show and they're awesome and uh, Absolute Groove closed. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's Joe Michelson and the new group. Oh yeah, sorry. sorry. Their uh, new name. Fantastic. Both, both groups. Yeah, it was, great it was group, yeah. so fun. We had over 200 people come. Wow. Come out. It was a great time. Yeah. And how did you get involved with Midwest Music Fest? We played last year. Played yeah, at the I'm Acoustic think, Cafe last year. Which was not, uh, it was great, but it was, I mean, we were kind of unapologetically loud for a yeah. coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> we were like, all right, this is what we're playing, but we're not playing anything different. Yeah. Well, there we you go. Paired up with all the uh, other folk music bluegrass groups there, so it's kind of a strange contrast, but it worked. It was still fun. Worked, yeah, it was a lot really of fun. Well. We play Winona every once in a while, too. We play at Ed's Bar, and... Uh, yeah, I think that's the only other place. We played here, we played here with, with... Oh, yeah, with Shoeless Revolution. Revolution. Yep. We opened for them. That was a good time. Are you going to come back oh, yeah. and play yeah, again? We play at Dibs, that coffee shop with the huge, like... <laughs> that that that's place like is so cool. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. That looks really cool. I'll have to make that happen. And how do you guys feel you did tonight? I had a good time. Yeah. I had a, good, I had a great yeah, time, yeah. 
guys all look like well. you're having a lot yeah, of fun. Especially yeah. you, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> you're bouncing up and down. It was the coffee. <laughs> I was, I, uh, yeah. You gotta sell it. If you got it, you gotta flaunt it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I always know. say. These guys, these guys always stay still. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, we told Kurt he couldn't jump tonight. Yeah, so I was a little more restrained problems. than normal. I've had problems. Kurt was jumping around and he broke I, the strap I broke my his, strap. Yep. He played the last <laughs> on our last song, song on one like a flamingo, one leg, and he was. It was compared was, to the Jethro Tull yeah. stance. Yeah. yeah. Ian Anderson. <laughs> Ian Anderson. Yeah. yeah. Right, and anything else you guys want to say then? Uh, what's your name? I'm Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Sammy. Yes. Okay, yes. I go to school here. Nice. What do you so. say? Journalism. <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and interview me. Yep, I'm journalism uh, and a Spanish minor. I'm from Minneapolis. Uh, I miss the cities. Robbinsdale. Do you know where it is? I there you go. I did some yeah. student teaching in Robbinsdale. Did you? Yeah. Where? Uh, middle school. Which one? It's the one next to like the family video or the. It was, you don't even know what it was called. It was like Robbinsdale <laughs> Middle. I don't know. Robbinsdale like, Middle School. Well, it was, it was a couple like, years ago. Yeah, and it was so actually it wasn't that one. I did this like rapping thing there. <laughs> like, because I was like, I want to like try something like choir's boring, right? So right. I was, I was doing that, and I did this rapping thing. They filled out these like evaluation forms. They're like, what's what was the best part of Mr. Anderson's lesson? And they wrote, you know, the rapping, because like. <laughs> thought it was cool. They don't know there's but, two P's in rapping. Yeah, they had, it was, all it said was R-A-P-I-N-G. Yeah, so I have a stack of written documentation of Robbinsdale youth uh, saying that my raping was the best part of their day. It's hard to convince them that that's the best part. Maybe that's why, be a pretty shitty day. Well, maybe that's why I'm not <laughs> teaching <laughs> currently. <laughs> So that was your goal all along? You wanted to be a teacher? Well, I, I don't know. I think so. No, no, Who knows? Mean. We're all figuring it out as we go, right? There you go. That's very true. I'm always figuring it out as I go. So that's what we'd like to leave everyone with. Yes. Mr. Anderson's uh, raping great, the best great, part of all of our days. I think. It's really pretty good raping. Uh, it's, can you cut that last part? <laughs> I don't know if they'll let me publish that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's the best raping. Put, edit that in. <laughs> That'll well, just be how like, I start. We'd actually just like people to listen to our music and yeah. go to our Facebook page, like it, whatever, you know, yeah. do well, what you gotta do. if I had cash on me, I'd buy your album, but I don't. It's alright, it's alright. So, online. maybe so, yeah. I'll Facebook you. Yes. <laughs> you can send Facebook it to me. Yeah.